We got California troll caught king salmon coming at you. For the past several years, Tommy Gomes has been on a mission to introduce San Diegans to sustainable, less sought after fish. Opa, an underutilized but exceptionally versatile and delicious fish, is better known in Hawaii than on the mainland US. Tommy describes this fish as looking like a barbecued potato chip. Here's Tommy breaking down an average sized Opa. So this is the Pacific Opa, a warm blooded creature which swims all over the planet. This is hook and line harvested from American boats and offloaded here in San Diego. Some of the great things about this fish are the seven different cuts of meat. Each one's got different flavor and texture and you can use it for many dishes. The belly, which is dense like a pork chop and cooks like bacon when sliced thin and high-end sushi slices, which come out of what we call the center loin cut. The abductor muscle, which controls the pectoral fin of this fish and propels it through the water. It can be used from anything from sweet Italian sausage to grandma's meatloaf to tacos to chili and whatever you do with ground beef, chicken or pork, you can do with that abductor muscle. As our population grows and we industrialize our fishing more and more, it's important that we utilize the whole fish. Each cut has a different flavor profile and each cut has a story of its own. Meet Captain Pete Grillo. He's been a commercial fisherman for 25 years and says the industry has changed in that time. Captain Pete owns Atlantic Pacific Tuna Incorporated. He's fished from the North Atlantic to the Western and South Pacific. And for the last five years, he's called San Diego home. Fishing the Eastern Pacific for opa, tuna, monchong, and other pelagics by long line and troll. His fleet includes the Anthony G and the Heather G. Pete is also a part of the Tuna Harbor dockside market where locals can buy his catch right off the boat. When not at sea, you can find Pete's boats at Driscoll's Wharf. It's where he offloads his catch, refreshes his gear, and makes any necessary repairs to the boat. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.